Hello and welcome to Garblad Games. Tonight we have episode 6 of the Red Hand of Doom. I am Pete and I am the Game Master. Dun, 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 dun. I felt like you needed theme music. Um, hello, I'm Aldun. I will be playing Kindly Uncle His Fix, who doesn't collect skulls or nothing. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Um, uh, who is a gnomish, uh, I forgot what my character class is, some sort of deep delver. Um, dark delver, that's the one. Um, and has a ponch on for snacks and not skulls at all. <laughs> Good evening all, I am Dan and I am playing Geron, the mighty minotaur of Swarm. Uh, good evening all, my name is Rob, and I'll be your rune wielder this evening. Good evening, I'm Wojtek, I'm playing Obble the Lightbearer. Short, hairy, dwarf. Yeah. And uh, very particular about his appearance. Everything. About everything. Yeah. Um, Hygiene the most. Excellent. And Dan. What happened last time? Last week on Red Hand of Doom. Uh, last week we uh, we finished getting across the bridge. We found our friend His Fix playing with her new monocle. That was interesting. Apparently, it turns out it's a sniper scope, and he has become the predator. Um, we ventured through the woodlands with our lovely guide. We found two poor lonely goblins. One thought he was hard, and one thought he was not. And we came up with a masterful plan, and I say we, I'm not sure I was involved, but there was a plan to go in through the side entrance, which his fix and Oddball obviously scouted out prior to this, um, and didn't get stuck in any weeds of any kind. Um, and yes, yeah, so that apparently there's an entrance in the side, and there's a room with a creature in it. We don't need to know what that is. We don't really care about that. Um, and we came up with a masterful plan that we were going to charge in wildly into a random room where we think there's potentially some hobgoblins or goblins i'm not mm -hmm. sure sure what they are bit of both we'll find out bit of both and there's a tower of a green eerie light to which we are going to go in and you know, have a light conversation with someone yes Absolutely. and we're gonna be controlling one access to the tower so we get not swarmed that too that's your intention <laughs> yes. that's the plan <laughs> yeah so yes, you had indeed made your way further through the wildwood to Volmat's Keep, and we. What time of day was it? Wasn't it? Was it? Uh, you'd it was rested. Dawn. You'd rested, yeah, and the and sun we is coming up uh, around the world mountain, sort of behind you. Um, uh, but it's still, it's early hours, and you've rested up. So I believe you've re recovered wounds, right? Mm -hmm. um, and. Um, Donda is going to scout the surrounding area to make sure there are no outlying bad guys who might sneak up on you from behind. Because you have seen scouts. Yeah. So you've seen yeah. various groups. So Donda being the, the, the wild walker. And unfortunately, Lewis can't join us tonight. Um, but as we do, we carry on and we come up with a convenient excuse for why that person's not there. And then I'll just take a couple of monsters out. There you go. Easy. Easily done. Before we go further, I would also like to say this is my game, Heroic Deeds, that we're using to play Red Hand of Doom, which is a classic Dungeons & Dragons 3rd edition uh, campaign, which I've got here. Let me just go back to the big screen for a minute, and you can see it over here on the overlay. Um, Heroic Deeds, I will be kickstarting on the 1st of February. <laughs> And there is the pre-launch page live. If you're watching on Twitch, there is a link in the chat right now. Please go click it and say notify for launch. The more people who do that, the cooler it looks. And then more people go and do it. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, it's down below. If it's later on and Kickstarter's your it is February, then get over to the Kickstarter. There'll be another link somewhere. Uh, and sign up. It's going to be three tiers to the Kickstarter. A digital, where you get the PDF and any digital stretch goals. Physical, where you get the book, the PDF and digital stretch goals. And then all in, where you'll get the book, PDF, stretch goals. But you'll also get six archetype folios that 
players will be able to do. There'll be little, little wiro bound lay flat books with all the deeds in and all the talents for each archetype. So it's everything you need. Places for notes, your legend, all that stuff. So it'll be really cool. Some nice artwork in. Uh, and a couple of stickers. And maybe if we get far enough, that tier will also get a GM screen. That's a stretch goal. <laughs> That's not on the base uh, base funding goal. But yeah, so it's happening. Okay, so we are approaching Volmat's Keep. And the four of you are making your way through the woods. Now, you guys can see the map, right? You said you want to approach from the... Can you put your token on just off the map by a square? So like where mm -hmm. his fix yeah yeah so roughly where you think you're gonna come on the map. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you guys have got yours over there. Right? Can they see my token? It's to the right. Oh, oh it's further right than I. Am. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. It was just a little bit off screen. There yeah. it is. I found it. There we go. Look at me fly. And one thing I've actually forgot, haven't done so far, is put your names on them. Oh yeah. That. So we'll just do that quickly. So when our viewers are watching the heated battle as you all die honourably in Volmat's Keep Courtyard, then uh, they know who's dying when. Um, cool. Right, so you're all off there and you can, you can hear noises within the keep of some people moving around. Um, obviously, you know his fix that... Well, what you saw was four people inside that barracks and two were up and about and two were having a kip. Yeah, makes sense. Um, let's not have... Racks of various other creatures and we, we've heard tell of a, of a, a dark, burdened, stained minotaur type. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which and the guy one? with the parasites. What was his face now? And, and also a, a, a manti something or other. Yeah, yeah. you've heard about um, there, there is a manticore. You saw some needles or spines uh, sort of on the on the floor near a doorway. That we did. Why are we not going through that door? Uh, and um, you can see through in in the in the gap between in the wall, which some of you haven't seen yet. But you're now seeing this skeleton, dead. The skeleton, a giant skeleton, yeah. So this creature must have been ten, fifteen foot tall and a broad creature, uh, but it is dead. And you know the story of Volmer and his uh, religious order. They they came here to help clear this area of these violent giants. And unfortunately, it seems that the clan of giants maybe won out, maybe didn't. You don't know. And there's supposed to be some sort of ghost. Is it possible to see um, from here how long that thing's been dead? It's just bones. Oh, it's just bones. Okay. Yeah, so it's been dead a long time. I've got dibs on the skull. Yeah. Um, Do you think I have a very weird uh, uh, token description? Do you? For some reason... Instead of oh boy. yeah 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 sorry sometimes like auto generated it puts, sometimes it, yeah auto generates with your um, your name rather than you know anyway mm. uh, okay. cool I'd rather it's my character's name for when my character dies yes it's not Aldoon dying it's his okay. fix friendly oh, no. you should have your whole title on the token there. like a really <laughs> long yeah um, okay so as you approach the uh, the keep. Can everyone please make observe or weird rolls, but only one of them, and it's up to you. Okay. I'll go weird. There's something you I say on a regular do. basis. Boom. <laughs> I'm actually going to go observe. Don't forget to check your hero die. Wow. Your... Okay. My hero die. Yeah, got myself too. There's weird ones there. Okay, so um, his fix and Obbol, you mm -hmm. each notice something. Um, 
his fix you the the tower you know you mentioned the tower the ghostly tower as you kind of look up to the tower you can see that there is a window and there is some sort of strange figure glow the glow is coming from behind a strange figure that seems to have moldy drapes or some sort of cloth down over it sort of poking out of a window uh up on the on the next floor um and uh Wojtek, you see mm-hmm. uh, you hear a a voice that sounds a bit like Geron's yeah it's similar intonations you know another austrian bodybuilder um <laughs> barking orders move there yeah inside the uh barracks yeah but you can't you can't see anyone you can't see them okay um, so there's more hmm. and um uh Chothog, you sense the presence of uh strong magics in the area including you believe there's probably a number of um runic items within range the kind of hum you get from your scrolls you know and things like that you're kind of getting a similar background radiation level has peaked a little bit sort of in in and around uh you know sort of in the tower Uh, well Yes. But you feel uh, above and below. Oh. Yeah, I shall uh, convey that to the troops. And, okay. uh, yeah. Okay. Geron's looking at a butterfly flying past. Can, can, can anyone see. else see, like, the uh-huh. ghastly figure with the curtains over its face up there? I thought it was the curtains. Maybe it is. Right. Um... Geron, old old pal. What is it? Uh, so we're we're about to go into into what what you would call close quarter combat, and and do you remember that that's not what I'm good at. Yeah. That's just, yeah. So, um, I don't know if if I don't know folk could just be thrown a bit away, and then I can like range mm-hmm. through them. That just seems fair. I will I'm... be there, a big distraction, and I will be in the way, and then you can. Do your thing. I'm going to snipe them off, and then we'll figure out what we do once we actually get to the tower. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Obel is gonna go with uh, Garen because we cannot afford, I think, you know, like pr- protracted battle is gonna take a bit if we just don't get them down as so no, quickly we're, as we're possible. We're stick together because we want to <coughs> get into the barracks and then into the tower. So mm-hmm. do not worry. I will generate so much fear that their heads will explode again. Okay, for them. Okay. And wink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna be bothering with crossbow this time around. Just <clears throat> mace and shield. Okay. Right. So, Wait, oh. is everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. Might be a strong word. <laughs> I'm just finishing me sandwich. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. Have me pre-battle snack. You have a very high metabolism. It burns quickly in battle. Mm, okay, yeah, so how are you going to do this? Are you sneaking up to that entranceway to, like, leap through it? Ha-ha! Or you, is Geron just going, Blah! from where you are and running across the grass? I, think... I feel like we could try and stealth, but every time Geron does, it never pans out. Look, so... Well, you can There's spend that point of vitality to pass. You can There's make a stealth a roll to move up to the wall or behind one of these boulders. These are big well, boulders that you can hide behind. T- tell you what, my horned friend, why don't a couple of us more graced with stealth or shadow move up to the walls and then however you decide to charge in, we'll be there ready to assist. I am also stealthy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, okay. And you're, you're shouting about your stealthiness is the kind of thing <laughs> that distracts from... We- Remember yeah. that, that summer class I did on being sneaky? Remember Sorry, that? Sorry, his fix. I will try to be more quiet. Okay, that's much better. That's okay, good. 
Let's go! Okay. So is anyone sneaking up to the wall then, or is that Garon starting the battle by shouting out, let's go? Uh, Hitrix is going to attempt. Oh my god! Garon rolled a shadow roll! Uh, He's stealthy! Uh, <laughs> awesome. We all have to now then, don't we? Uh, well, you, you, could, you could just start off, the, you know, just at the edge of the map. Those who want to stealth up to it, if anyone fails to stealth up to it, then we may have to... I actually manage one. Um, I mean, um, what if anyone fails that stealth roll, shadow yeah, roll? By anyone so, so the, uh, the rest of you can move up to the wall or a boulder, Chothog. Mm. Uh, you step onto the map well, uh, and uh, onto uh, a, a twig, a, a small twig. hedgehog. Uh, so, uh, you step on a squirrel and it squeaks. <laughs> um, you fall over in the in the thing. You get yourself up. You're not prone or anything, but you cause some noise. So we unfortunately need to roll for initiative. That might work to lure them out. So that, that's what I was aiming for. <laughs> so that what we're going to do is we're going to have a roll off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and one of you will have a roll off against one of my. Um, so it's either regulars. tactics or. I observe. believe tactics our best roller observe. for this is always. Can, uh, <laughs> it's I his can, fix. Well, we have observed. And I can, as, I can take observe. Yeah, as his fix has it. stepped up to the wall, is at the front line, I'm happy for that to be the roll. It's either his fix mm -hmm. or Chothog, basically. I get four dice. Do you get more than that? Um, yeah, eight. Oh, then, then yes, I think that's more than four. Eight? I think. Well, I've got three in observe. Uh, no, that modifies your, your roll, right? So oh, modifies my roll. It's all right. I'll do it for you. How do I know how many? Is dice then it's the, the primary guile number. Yeah. Guile. The guile, which is five. Yes. Oh, you go. Observe. Yeah, that's... Good. Click your observe and you're... Oh, I, two I successes. Really One is... Twelves. Hero 12. Yep. Hero 12. So, three successes. Ooh, I six. will roll. Observe. See private and secrets. I get one success. So, combat begins, and our heroes get to go first. And any people watching this who haven't seen this before, we do alternating initiative. So, one of you gets to go, and then one of my guys or group of guys and I group the bad guys into the same number of groups as there are players which will obviously get whittled down and then thin out and spread out slowly one side will start to lose numbers about the monsters, not, not the hopefully um, so which one of our brave heroes is going to Garon. go on <laughs> going to nod at Garon <laughs> I feel like it's Garon <laughs> It's on! Get on time! And he uh, sprints around the wall. Now, how far? How many squares am I away from? One, two, three, four. I'm only f one, two, three, Get on. four. As you run through the courtyard, you notice that this building here, which is one story high, has a huge hole in the roof. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Geron may notice it, but he no, does not stop. Show. Sure. Yeah. No, that's fine. You just remark. You're like, oh, but you're on <laughs> course. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the two at the back are asleep. It must be an asleep symbol, right? Ben is at asleep. Ben's just more difficult. Um, yeah. The status there is uh, a sort be. of moon with the Z's on it. Is that? Oh, you've got oh. blinded. Yeah, top row. Ah, oh, yeah. Asleep. Thank I've you very much. There's so things. many of those. I just like a button that you could turn on and off, and or a yeah. color <laughs> color blob yeah. or something like that. But anyway, so they are asleep at the back. Makes sense, right? The two at the front are. Um, awake and oh. as you step into the room you also spot spot <laughs> oh hello that's taking ages oh, 
Another Minotaur standing there. And as you come running in, he sees you. And there's a brief moment of like, Minotaurs are a little bit rare. And we've kind of clocked each other. Like, we're the same people. Uh, But then it's gone. As you see him turning. Okay, so you charged in with for one action, yeah? yeah. Or is it? Are you doing a char? Uh, have you got anything that's like a move and attack as an action? Uh, <clears throat> no, okay. I have. I have do have some new abilities, but it's not Ooh. that. Uh, so let's see if we for whack this guy on the head. For whacking is supposed to be the thing I'm good at. Oh, I'm going to spend a vitality point to get success there. Okay. Uh, well, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to spend two vitality points. I'm going to spend my first vitality point on that to hit. Yep. And I'm going to spend a second vitality point on Striker, increasing my strength of my weapon by two. Cool. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Ow. What is my what is the target defense I'm going against? Uh, let me have a look. Here we go. Uh, toughness seven, but he has got one protection. Cool. So I'm on eleven damage or dice. Here we go. That's a lot of dice. That is seven damage. Wowzers. <laughs> right. Yeah. He uses the momentum to kind of drive through and drive his axe into the giant great axe into this uh, poor hobgoblin in front of him. Yeah. He definitely is poor. Uh, because he's pretty hurt. Here we go. Right here. That's that guy, and you did six, seven damage. Wow. Seven damage. Okay. So it's like, ah, um, you are gonna die. Yeah, you've come to the wrong place, friend. You're dead. Like this, and he's like, Wah! and it's because he's got his mates with him. He's like feeling like, Wah! although you've just whacked him. The <laughs> the other guy over here uh, doesn't look quite as sure. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then as my last action, I shall swing again and hope for a few more successes. This okay, time. so three successes required this time. I will spend a point of vitality to, sw- oh, to get that wow. hit. <laughs> okay. So I, I believe in myself and my ability to take a hit. Um, maybe <laughs> it's fine. Yep. I believe Are you in my burning mind. more vitality to get more damage. No, I feel like I've already done quite a lot of damage to him. Yep. That he, it probably isn't worth it in terms of how many wounds he might have <laughs> left. Uh, sorry, vitality he might have left. Uh, tactical. Whoa. Okay. However, I rolled seven damage again. Okay. You <laughs> smack him with your. Uh... Is it an axe, isn't it? It's a great axe, yeah. A great axe. You whack him with your great axe. And blood flies out of his chest and he's like, ah. And he immediately regrets his decision of uh, cussing you down a, a few <laughs> moments ago. Uh, but he is holding a sword. Um, and if that's your go, that is the end of my then I am going to group him and the Minotaur together. Excellent. The Minotaur steps through the door and shuts it. <laughs> Victory. Oh. Yep. Coward. <laughs> and this guy over here is like, oh, <laughs> he's like, hang on. <laughs> um, but the guy in front of you is going to, bear with me a second. Oh, no, that's the, oh, yeah. Got the same. No. Okay, here we go. Let's get his couch sheet out. He is going to attack you with his sword. And he hits you. Bizarre. So he's ro- normally rolling seven strength. I am protection free. So and it's toughness four. nine. Toughness nine. Okay, here we go. Dang it. <laughs> so, I, I can't no see what you're rolling, so I'm just waiting in anticipation. No damage. Huzzah. Uh, so his, his sword swings, and as it hits you, you feel your nose ring. Like, there's a, there's a warmth to it momentarily. And 
the sword skitters off your armor. <laughs> um, his uh, second action is to step backwards, and his third action is to raise his shield, which he has. So they're wearing um, leather. They've got shield and sword. So he stepped back and he's raised his shield. Um, I'm just going to roll uh, an observe roll to see if these guys wake up. <laughs> no, they're stirring. Right? But they're not quite awake. <clears throat> um, uh, so, over to the heroes. Yeah, I'm going to go next and just get in there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So that's one. Mm -hmm. no. You could always burn a vitality to get one more step. So no, <clears throat> no, just a step. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna give it a swing of a mace on that one. Cool. Just to keep him busy. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be prowess. Okay. Okay. So, so two successes. That, so that's extra one. Yep. Se seven. And they have one. So that's six. Yep. And they are toughness. Um, seven. Okay. Oh, not bad. Three. Yeah. Okay, so you bash him and he's like, <laughs> surprised that suddenly there's a dwarf in the room. Yeah, and that's me done. Okay. Uh, he is then going to respond. Uh, and he is going to uh, swing his sword at you. Mm -hmm. They're all private roles. Are they? Oh, yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. Your game is mastery sorry sorry so that was one success it's okay. on the screen My... play it. our viewers will see that i'm not lying to you yeah. so <laughs> my yeah. defense 10 is... successes um, <laughs> yeah so you got protection oh. to the hover no okay. uh, weaknesses i didn't raise a shield <clears throat> okay and what's your toughness my toughness is six plus. Not so good. Here we go. Five dice, six plus. Ow. Only two. That's pretty rubbish. <laughs> mm. I was expecting three. You know. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, and since I did get it onto the armor, anything happens. No. No. So that's ju just getting beaten is not the trick. <laughs> okay. Science. Science. And then his second action will be to step back and his third action will be to raise his shield. Um, he shouts as he does, wake up you lazy gits, and they are they wake up. Right. They're still lying down. Yeah, their first action they're going to have to spend getting up. Yeah. Okay, so back over to our heroes. Who's next? Oh, you can hear sort of roaring noise in the other room. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. Um, I, I don't know. Cathog had a plan for that, but... Did like... I? <laughs> I feel like... So Blame I'm it on the rune wielder. Yeah. If, if you don't have a plan, I'm gonna I'm gonna step up and shoot some arrows or something. I I do have a pl a cunning plan. Right. But it's gonna take me a week or so to actually get there. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm going go in. Yeah. No, you go in. I've got to scrape the squirrel off my shoe. <laughs> it's a very nice slipper. <laughs> Got to tread on another squirrel. Try and find the other one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to move there. Yep. Um, 
it's I, I, tell me tell me if this works i'm gonna do that that standard player thing if i want to do a thing and i don't know if i get to do a thing okay. uh, the ones that are waking up yes can his fix ready mm -hmm. an action to shoot one of them as soon as they stand up uh there's no hold action because you get to choose when you go right so you could let chothog go first and then one of them could stand up and then you go then I wouldn't be in position. Um, I kind of want to do it as they're standing up, because then they won't have raised a shield and they'll still be sleepy and all that nonsense. Just shoot them while they're asleep. You can shoot them now. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. already up. Nope. They're kind of getting up, right? It's, oh, but there's okay. going to be their first action. It will be to like actually get up and ready themselves. Fine. I will shoot one of them then. Probably that one. At the back so brave. He's blocked by Geron and the other irregular. Uh, so you can uh, shoot this guy. Yeah. Right. Go on then. Yeah. Go for that then. It's uh, a it's a crappy wall there, right? It's not. It's all kind of broken down. Fair enough. Uh, this is observe again. Yes. Bow. With your longbow. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I'll take those. Mm. Yeah. Um, so Four okay. successes. Four successes. So three more than you were anticipating. Um, and uh, so the strength of your longbow is seven. So ten dice. He's got his leather jerkin on. So nine uh, against his evasion, uh, which is six normally, but he counts as being stunned because he's just waking up. So four plus. Right. Roll them D two hours. So many dice. Seven. Seven. Nice. As he's climbing up, an arrow thuds into his thigh and he screams in pain. Ah! Right. I'm going to try and shoot the other leg. Three successes. Oh. Three successes. Uh, four um, successes, because it was two. Uh, one, your hero die was an eight, and one of them oh, was an fantastic. eight. fantastic. Well, there we go. Yep. Um, so... Target defense specifically still four. Same same roll. Same same. Yep. Oh no, sorry. It's no no no, sorry. Still it's one. not the same roll because you haven't got as many damage dice. You needed three to hit with the ah, second okay. attack. So it's plus four. one. So it's well seven that's dice that's against so four many. plus. <laughs> so many. Sorry. Oh that's such a shame. That was a beautiful roll. I'm glad people got to see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now what does I get none? Oh. Four. Okay. Arrow hits his other thigh. Ah! And a big gout of blood sprays out, and he's like, ah! In a lot of sleep. <laughs> he's having trouble standing. <laughs> to bed. It's not worth it. And that's your go, right? So it was one yep. move and two shots. Okay. Yep. So um, that guy just shooting between guns who just legs. shot him twice. He uh, is going to uh, <laughs> cry. He's going to spend an action getting up. He's going to run through this door <laughs> with those two arrows sticking out of his thighs. Yeah, it's like ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's like that's why he's running away because a minotaur and a crazy dwarf have just stormed into the room, battered the hell out of everyone, and he got shot by someone he can't really see with a couple of arrows. So he's like ah, regroup. Um, so he is going to run uh, around and shut the door. <laughs> One, two. Shut that door. How, what's their movement? Their movement is uh, three. I like the fact that he's got arrows in each thigh, but he still mm. moves more than I do. Three. Yep. Not fair. Yeah. <laughs> so he runs around there. Uh. Ah, well, you can't see him now. He's run around the corner. Um, okay, so we're now on to Chothog. Uh, right, a couple of questions. Is the Are the buildings the same height as the wall, or are they lower? As the no, this, the interior buildings are slightly lower than the wall, you know, okay. so they're kind of protected from any, you know, otherwise people outside could just see them and, um, I have heard roaring, but I, was I told 
I was told before there may be a manticore around, but I wasn't told where, right? Yes. I just don't want to be too meta, that's all. No, no, you've um, all discussed it, right? You've all, it, so, yeah, you were it's... told that there were spines outside that door, uh, and now you've heard roaring, you're kind of putting two okay. and two together. If I, <clears> if I go to where I'm pinging, can I see the hole in the roof? Where, where are you pinging, sorry? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, yes. I'm moving two squares, and spending one vitality. Okay. I really should have created this character better. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, and how many squares wide is the hole in the roof? The hole in the roof uh, is probably um, about that big. What's that? How many squares? Three, many, it's, it's two by three. Okay. Um, I will cast a two-action web blast. Onto the Ooh. ceiling, onto the roof, which I like it, which covers a three by three um, area. Yeah, okay, so that cost three by three area of web is now uh, there. Great. Uh, yeah, okay. Which, if you want, and if anything tries to get through it, um, it takes a, each creature within that area takes a strength. Hit strength X hit against evasion where X is the number of successes on my arcane check. The web causes strain conditions. Okay, so it's not going to do any damage because to anything or cause anything any problems unless it tries to go through the net. Yes, but you yeah. let me have a look at the thing. You need to. I make... don't know if I need to if I need to make an arcane you roll. You need to, to make sort of an it arcane there. roll. Yeah. Okay. Clarify that spell a little bit more. Ah, three successes. Okay. And your hero died as well, so you got four successes. Oh, right? jolly good. Look at that. <laughs> there it takes the strength against. Uh, doesn't impact anyone moving into the area after the spell is resolved. Uh, so it's like a, a it's like an instantaneous blast, right? Mm. That you and then it kind of wraps people up. It's not a big web, but um, the what you are not aware of is that the manticore is actually in that general area right now. Okay. Well, you may think I wasn't aware of it. Well, exactly. It's perfectly <laughs> timed. So you did a strength four hit against... So you're going to do a strength four hit against evasion. So you need to roll four dice. So this is your strength attack, as it were. Okay. Uh, against, damage rolls. Yep. Yeah, four... Against nine plus. Four against nine plus, and that's that. One. So it got a restrained condition, so it can't move. Uh, so what I'll do is that what we're going to do is we are going to reveal the bad bad boy. I just need to sort the token out. Appearance. Rat cat. Ooh, yeah. Trigger. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's unpleasant. Hello. Okay. And it's there. And it has a restrained condition. Okay, cool. So you hear this kind of roaring and wings flapping and then getting caught and banging against things. And it's kind of like, and stops moving. Okay. Yeah. There's um, the duration of the spell, Pete. It's an instantaneous web blast. Okay. So it uh, lasts so as long as the restrained condition lasts on the creature. Fabulous. Thank you. Yep. That's my turn. Okie doke. Is that, that was two actions, right? Because then you did a, you had enough I, I moved, to, so I've, I've used enough three to by talent. Yeah, I've moved. Uh, I've used up three vitality. Cool. Okay. So it is my go. And the only guy left engaged in that round was the guy at the back. He is going to uh, this guy over here. He's going to stand up. He's going to move three squares. And he's going to attack Garon. I say that a lot in this game, don't I? 
Um, I mean, it's fair. Or not. He's going to attempt, I should have said. Yes. So he runs up to you. It's like, ah! And whoop, hits the blade, swings into the wall. He's got sleep in his eyes. and He's still half awake. I love the idea that Geron just kind of stood there and went, no, you missed. Yeah. Okay, so we will begin a new round. The Manticore now is joining the combat and will be grouped with one of the other creatures. Uh, but it's heroes first, so it's over to you guys. I have a plan for the com ongoing combat inside. Go, go. Go, go. So, Geron is going to spend uh, two actions and a vitality. Ooh. My new defender trait. Ooh. Uh, so I'm going to take a step up. So I'm just going to step. Uh, and then, uh, Oddball, you can make a free well, 1-5 step, and you gain a vitality. And oh. I get a free attack against one of the creatures. That's <laughs> nice. That is nice. <laughs> so if I move into a square adjacent to one of my uh, friends, uh, they get to make a free like one step. It's like, yeah, I basically kind of muscle them out of the way, but in this case, you've just mu I've muscled you closer, and you gain a vitality, and if I move also adjacent mm -hmm. to a square of uh, an enemy, I also get to make an attack. So is that one standing to my left, the wounded one that I was battling earlier? Yeah. Yes. This would be, this would be yeah. on my, uh, this would be my actions. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely worth it. So let's, I'm going to whack him, because I, I feel okay. like I was hitting him earlier. You were. Oh, what's Ooh. going on with my rolls? I'll Ooh. spend another vitality. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking Good job at you got two more last time, right? Yeah, I'm looking at Oddball, you know, like, get that get that thing down, you know, that thing you do. Yeah. <laughs> so I do hit. Uh, damage rolls, they got protection one? It's two, because I've got their shields up. Right, oh, yeah, shields up, so down to eight dice. And target is seven, isn't it? Yes. Oh! Okay. Four damage. Four damage. <laughs> okay. You take a big slice out of him and he's like, ah, blood it's pouring down his chest. But um, he's still standing. He's a tough cookie. He's taken 14, 18 damage from me at this point. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm now worried about finding that Minotaur in the room next door. I mean, <laughs> took all of that damage, right? Because some of it doesn't lap over yeah. from wounds onto it. <laughs> True enough. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, all of my actions because it was uh, an action to step and then an act two actions to do that ability. Oh, okay. Isn't, isn't mm. Defender, you step, you... you. Uh, I don't think I get... The, oh, am I, let me just triple check. Defender is action. like you step in and get the attack for two actions. Uh, I, I thought... One second... Spend one. Oh, and take a. I'll take a move. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So, so that's fine. Yeah, I've. I've there. Okay, right. In which case, I've got one more action. I will swing at that guy. I just swung out again. See if we can't. Okay. Come on, dice. Be good to me. Be good to me. Oh, what's going on tonight? You can't spend enough. No, I can't. I can't spend enough. Three vitality. vitality together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Now I'm done. Okay. I will hit something tonight without having to use vitality. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm sort of leery about setting this up here because we're gonna be done with them soon, and then it's gonna be something worse, and I think we're gonna need it then, you know. But if you really need it, <laughs> it's uh, fine. I, I've got plenty of vitality still. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's over to me, <clears throat> uh, and the what's gonna happen? We can't do the manticore, right? That's the fun one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so the you hear the roar of the manticore. Rah, death intruders. It speaks with this weird, horrific, warped voice, like it's been gifted speech through some terrible process, some kind of Frankenstein monster put together. Uh, with a mind and it's going to use its fly ability action one move 30 slash six ignoring mm. difficult terrain cannot do it oh it's that got restrained. restrained restrained here we go yeah. let's roll my uh let me sort out my sorry i wrote all my stats down today i just need to uh yeah that's good. What, is, what does it have to do pete to unrestrain itself yeah. make a might roll okay um uh, 
this is going to have a suitable amount of might, then that should be okay. <laughs> Dragon. His fix would be in trouble. We can live in hope. So. I'll, I'll try not to cough because it hits six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've got three successes. So it's yeah. it, you hear it tear the webs apart, and is, um, is it spending action for it though? No, it's just a react. It's just conditions. The mm -hmm. default thing is that can for everybody you just get to roll against the condition at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a simple, clean way to deal with conditions. Um, it's going to use his fly action to move up to six squares, ignoring difficult terrain. Cannot be used in an enclosed space, but there's a big hole in the roof, so it's not in an enclosed space. Um, and it's gonna go one, two, uh, see what's going on around and go. This is gonna be very small. Three. Ah. Is all I can say. Sorry? I can just say few. I just was worried where it was flying. That's... Yeah. No, so it kind of lands down between all of you looking around. And it is going to... Just trying to count. Uh, it's going to do a... Uh, spike spray. Ow. So its tail comes up. And you can see iron spikes... Got sort of quivering in the end of its tail. This lion, leonine head, it's gazing around for targets, and it sees Geron and Obbol standing next to each other, and it fires this spray. We made a critical mistake. Um, uh, How did I not spot the hole in the roof? It's very bad. Quite short. You didn't, and you didn't quite venture inside, right? So the walls are quite high, and mm. there's a narrow <coughs> gap, and then the structures to the side. It's kind of very useful. Um, know that, but hey ho! Uh, I mean, right. it is fixed. Your intelligence is spotty, <laughs> right? Right. So three by three area adjacent to the thing. Everyone in there takes a strength six hit versus evasion oh is it going to hit all of his own people as well then? so it's going to hit one of its own people I don't think it cares as it goes is it three by three you said oh uh, yeah uh, and like sh like spikes go out from it yeah uh. <laughs> to everyone in that area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll six dice yeah and you guys Look at your evasion versus those dice. Do we get protection against this? Um, you, yeah, oh, you should. do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you do. So you have to roll it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, turn to make your roll. Oh, so I have to roll it separately for you, won't yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Dan, what is your protection free? Uh, let me get this dude. And I'm evasion seven plus. Damage off. Yeah, here we go. So one damage on Ooh. Geron. And Obbo, what's your protection? A two and evasion eight plus. Evasion eight plus. Oh no, sorry. I did that the wrong way around. I was supposed to have four dice, not two. I put a minus rather than a plus. Here we go. Four dice, eight plus. Two. Two damage. There you go. Okay. Uh, and the last guy, um, he's got, he hasn't got his shield up, so he's got one protection, and he's, uh, I know it's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yowzers. Right. I mean, he's the closest. It stands to reason that he probably yeah. got hit by most of them traveling yes. out. That's Both fine. The most quills. Um. And it kind of flings its things out like that. And then it is going to do... Um, nice so Spike Spray, that costs one vitality. Um, Might have some fish. Uh, okay. And then it is going to do a 
uh, buffet um, against a uh, where are we? Let's get rid of this against a two by two area adjacent to it. So an opposed might roll. Uh, any successes I get mean that I can force a move on you that many squares. Uh, oh, hello. Well, you got two. I'm gonna roll. Two. I'm gonna roll for the roll for the uh, irregular. One, okay, and then let's roll for Manticore. Uh, Manticore is an ability. Large beast. Gain a die when making opposed might rolls with smaller creatures. It's going to roll 13. Aha! Oh, okay. Uh, I have to ask so... a question here. Yep. Would this count as athlete make a successful might check in an encounter on the journey? Uh, or journey? Uh, it doesn't say in combat, does it? It says uh, an encounter. An encounter. What's an encounter? Yeah, it's, okay, it's like you've just took the buffet of the wings of a manticore. That's pretty heroic. I think so. So we'll say that one counts. But if you Huzzah. make any more against it, then it won't Yeah, no, count that's fine. In this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah. I was wondering how I was actually going to do that one at any point. So uh, <laughs> I've got my first level in my level two deeds. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Um, does what it says on the tin. Uh, right, so that's that guy done. Uh, uh, and in fact, I'm just going to have the manticore on its own and then two of the guys will pair up. So it's over to the heroes. So Geron's had a go. Who is next? Uh, let me set up the shop. I'm going to spend... Uh... How much vitality now? Three because of the holy aura, which, and I'm just gonna center the locus on myself. Okay. So that should take pretty much all, all of the room almost. Because this is gonna take a while. We're gonna need the. It's everything within 10 too, isn't it? So yes. Like... Mm -hmm. And like this that. is. Uh... Gonna be Triumph of Tedros blessing, and that's me done. Okay, that's the vitality blessing, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. Successful. Hit. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I, I was just thinking that if, if we manage to strangle those beggars quicker, it's not gonna be a point, it's, it's gonna that's be fine. more. It's, they it's might be some, favorite. they might be some easy vitality for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's very important. <laughs> yeah. So I'm then going to do um, this guy out here and this guy here as one group. Sharing one brain. So this guy is going to uh, st uh, step out. Oh, no, not step there. Sorry, what am I doing? Yeah, one, two, three. Bollocks. Uh, raise his shield. And then swing his sword at okay. his fix. That's the thing, is it? That's the thing. Oh. This is my sword. I know, wrong voice. Ah. Uh, so, uh, failed. But ran up, shield up, like... Ah! <laughs> <And you're> like... <laughs> yes, there's like a... you got your... His fix, you're now standing in the courtyard... With a warrior and a manticore next to you, and the two warriors are inside with the swirling yeah. divine <laughs> magic around them, and you're like, <laughs> it's the back end of a manticore. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so over to the heroes. Oh no, sorry, this guy's going to go, isn't he? Here we go. Hey, yeah. Geron, how you doing? Uh, let's have a bit of a tip top swingerini. Uh, failed, uh, and we're going to try it again. You never know. Ah, oh, no. So he's going to raise his shield. Okay, over to the heroes. Oh, bollocks. Um, Rob, hey, 
could you do the mind trick with the beastie? Maybe. I mean, it, well, it was it, talking it, earlier on, so it it doesn't look yeah. like a thinker, so. But if, if, uh, if it, it talks, maybe we can reason with it. Yes, but see, uh, uh, Adam, you have your go because the the magic horse had its turn, so. All right. Um. Ah! <laughs> oh. uh, his fix does not like being in melee range. Uh, take a step out. You can step uh -huh. without provoking. Step diagonal? Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Um, which also remarkably gets me. <laughs> step out of melee range. Um, which is one of my uh, first level deeds. So oh. that's quite handy. Look at that! <laughs> Yeah, not that Hisfix ever wants to be in melee range. Well, that's why it, it encourages it encourages you to get out of melee range, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> and then Hisfix would like to attempt to stick two arrows in the irregular that just tried to hit him. Okay. Because he'd stop, take some of the out. That's unimpressive. Um... So it's a hit. Hero dice was a seven. I think there's another seven in there. So does that make two? Yes. Okay. So two. So it's a hit and a bit. Hit and a bit. Hit and a um, bit. So this guy's been shot twice, is not he? Yep. So target defense is what now? Let's put his shield up. Target defense is. Uh, well. So Asian. you've got strength seven, seven. is it? Minus one, one, minus one, minus two for protection because he's got a shield up. Mm. And then his evasion is eight, I believe. Let me just double check. Uh, in that case, uh, no, cool. six. Sorry, I'm six. Burn two vitality to do the special snipey shot. Do, 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 do. So his his uh, okay. thing is now what two. Yep. Um, Three red dots appear on his forehead. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this fix takes on his other persona. Um, <laughs> uh, let's hope for chunky rolls. I'll take five. Five damage. Oh. You're like. <laughs> Blow a hole in him with a bow and arrow, <laughs> uh, but he's not. He's not dead. Not dead. Oh. No. Oh, just have to try that one again then. Because your two um, arrows took all his vitality off, right? So right. now you're doing wound damage to him, and he's got an arrow sticking out of his clavicle. No, oh. second one is no good at all. So. Oh dear. That's the go. It's time to shine. <laughs> their turn now. Yes, I believe so. But after that, you can make brains explode. Um, I, I, I have questions. <laughs> you have questions. Yeah, but only when it gets to my turn. You, you do your stuff. So sorry, Geron. Did you hit the guy that you'd taken all the vitality off in the previous round? In this round? Yes, I did. You did for four, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I, sorry, I took it off the wrong. Took it off the wrong guy. Okay, right. So my go. Uh, so one of these guys is going to go. That guy. He's that one. Yeah. He is. The, yeah. Sorry, just making sure. Keep track of which one's which. Okay. Uh, this guy over here. He's going to attack uh, Opal. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Oops. Or not. That's pretty crap. He is actually going to spend a point of vitality to get that last success. He has vitality. Okay. Uh, so he has got a longsword, which is normally damage seven, but you've got two protections, so that's five. Mm -hmm. And what's your toughness? Uh, my toughness is six plus. Six plus. Three, Three. damage. 
do not appreciate this. Uh, he's going to try. He's going to try. Um, uh, what's he going to do? No, he's going to step back and he's going to raise his shield. <clears throat> so now it is Chothog's go, who's got his head stuck in a spell book. <laughs> yes. Oh, right, it's me, yes. Um, if I cast Mind Fog on something, how long the blinded condition? So he'd have to roll, he'd have to roll against his whatever to cure himself of blindedness the next yes turn. would yeah. he at all then but would he before he rolls would he be blinded for his turn or no, so that that roll happens at the beginning of their turn yeah so that's of no use to us really if he manages to sh shake it yeah. off okay then i just what stat uh, does it roll against blindedness Mm. Uh, my stat, the mind fog rolls against a hit no, versus no, defiance. The blinded is might or composure. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, okay. no, yeah. I'm just going to start unvite. Uh, I'm going to shout. Um, uh, yeah, on, dear. Uh, as much as it's fun playing with my brethren, could you come and <laughs> sort of deal with the fucking manticore? Um, <laughs> One minute, I'll be right there. <laughs> yes, I'm not entirely sure the minute is what we have. No, you're going to be um, dead, mate. Yes. And we're just going to cast, we need to start whittling down the um, vitality of the medicore. Uh So I'm just going to mine the three, uh, three, a two action mine spike uh, into the thingamajig. A two action mine spike. Which is uh, strength eight, and I have to uh, make. I have to men do roll, roll arcane anyway. Yep. And I have two successes, mm -hmm. and then uh, so yeah, the spell one more on the strength. So strength nine against yep. his defiance, which is six plus. Oh, nice. Told you not a brainy one. I damage dice nine and target is six. And that's seven damage. <laughs> It, um, you see the manticore like suddenly like shut its eyes and it's like rah, roars into the air and its tail sort of quivers, pointing straight up for a moment, and then it passes. Right now, I kn I've got one action left. Now I know that um, his fix is often complained about the uselessness of my barrier spell. Um, but I'm going to. You're going to put I'm it in front to, of me. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to. I'm going to put it right there. So I've got a barrier here, and yeah. his fix is another barrier. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> so, so yeah. Well, you you know I can't put a two square. I, that's two squares. That entrance square, isn't it? That that entrance weighs two yeah. squares. Yes, two so squares put, wide. Yeah. Yeah, I have a scroll with summon barrier. Uh, yes. And I will do that. Okay, so now what we need to do, I've made a slight addendum to this this uh, um, spell. Mm -hmm. You need to make an arcane check, and the spell lasts for a number of rounds equal to arcane plus one. Oh, lovely! Uh, Result plus one. Five rounds. Yeah. Yeah. And now do you good. just if his fix just stand still for five rounds and it'll all be fine. All right, I'll hold the line. Oh yeah, it's lovely. I've okay, got a that's... sword somewhere. <laughs> just step back and this will be another deed thing. Thank you, that's my turn. Okay. There you go. There's now a magical barrier. <coughs> semi semi transparent, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, does not stop air. Line of sight or movement. airflow. Mm. So it's like super thick air there sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's magic. Okay, so that's yeah. your go. So now it's my last guy, uh, which is this guy here. And he's going to attack Geron. Why am I not surprised? Here we go. Ho oh, hoy. I've been hit. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. 
So that's a hit. And you've got toughness nine. Nine, protection three. Uh, yeah. Just wait until I get that full plate mail. One damage. I will oh. take you a piece at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, yeah, that's a vitality. Yeah, that's a thousand paper cuts. <laughs> yeah. That's what these little dudes are for. They're just there to like keep keep in your way and and hurting you really. Um, cool. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Uh, we will begin a new round with one of our heroes. I love how we're all Simon. Like, who, who's who go? Who wants to go first? <laughs> His face. Hey, I mean, I... This large barrier yeah. has appeared next yeah. to you, and you are forming the rest Hello. of the barrier with the. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just I'm happy to step out. go straight into the manticore to start wailing. Well, I'm happy to mind spike it again to remove another handful of vitality. Mm -hmm. yes, it's it. entirely up. Um. I just want. I think we need to remove as much vitality from it as yeah. for its turn. So whoever can do the most of bigness. Go yeah, I yeah, know, just... you see my rolling tonight, it's not been going great. Yeah. It's, it's really big, though. Great. It's but really you, big. you have a guaranteed hit at zero cost, basically, because if you spend vitality, you recover yeah, vitality right, because you hit. Okay, okay, so so I'm, I'm going to do a step. Oh, no, yeah. oh, I've, oh, no I've got the wrong thing, tool, the wrong tool selected. Yeah. There we I go. I do that all the time. i take a step. There's you're still, in, you're still in the, the field of the mm -hmm. locusts. Yeah, the field of joyfulness um, <laughs> as 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 uh, Geron has become to know it uh, and he's going to swing his axe come on axe don't let me down now oh fuck. Right, I love oh, no, got a hit got a hit got a hit uh, so it's a successful hit I gain a vitality I'm going to immediately spend it to get myself two additional damage dice Ooh. Uh, uh how what's his target defense what's his and protection protection is 3 and his toughness is 10. Oh, ouch. Maybe I wasn't the best person. Three, Three damage. Okay. And then my final action, I shall swing again. Swing away. Come on, dice. Swing, swing. I will spend a vitality to get the successful hit. <laughs> and you, get you don't back. need to, because your hero you die hero matched. Dice. So you got oh, three. Oh, no. You got three. Excellent. Then I shall spend yep. that vitality point to do striker again <laughs> to get the two additional damage dice. Okay. It's that tough. Oh. Two damage. Take, take oh. two more damage. <laughs> Geron's wailing and okay. then realizes that the, the, the mad mage person's probably better at doing damage, but he's happy anyway. He's just he's no, wailing. No. <laughs> no, you look lovely doing it. You look like having Have a really a good time. Cat relax. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, all three of my actions. I mean, the, the goal really is to just draw this creature's attention so he doesn't wail on the little people in the background. Hello. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's your go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will then have my go as the manticore. Uh, and the manticore is going to claw you viciously. Um, to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, sorry. I had too many dice there. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I roll that again. Too many dice. Two successes. There you go. Um, so, uh, that's one more than I needed. Here's Claws of Strength uh, 8. So that's Catch Strength free. 9. Protection three. His damage is uh, slashing. Does that affect? Do you got a weakness against slashing? Let me just check my armor. Two seconds. Just checking. My armor is uh, weak to. Where's my armor gone? Where is it? Slashing and shock, I think. Or, no, or I think shock I alone. Just shock. Yeah, shock alone. Yeah. Okay. I'm wearing brigadine. Cool, his claws do shock damage. No. Uh, <laughs> so it was, sorry, you had how Protection many? Protection three. Protection three. And your target defense is nine plus. Oh, yeah, two points of damage. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, down to, I'm down to six vitality. Just, yeah. okay. You getting me there? 
uh, and then it is going to uh, use its special. It's gonna. Sorry, I'm just checking through his uh, special abilities. He's going to make a second claw attack. Let's do that. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's five dice at nine plus. Ah, oh, rubbish. Uh, okay. So, then for his final action, he's going to do his spike spray again on the area in front of him. <laughs> so, everyone in there takes a strength six, so four. Go on, that's three against your evasion. What's your evasion? Seven. Seven. Two damage. Nice. Oh. Up ball. Oh. Defend, uh, protection. Yeah. Protection two. Okay. And toughness. Oh, evasion. And evasion is eight plus. Eight plus. Oh, here we go. Two damage. And then oh. against his buddy... <laughs> Uh, she's gonna die to the spike attacks at this rate. Well, he's yeah, he's not too hurt though. He's had a bit of damage, but not too much, right? Um, because uh, you keep hitting the other guy. Um, it's six plus, and it's five dice. I say that now, it's gonna kill him or something. Three. Ah, oh, he's nearly, nearly. Out of vitality. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> so, and that is the end of the Manticore's go. So, back to our heroes. Who is doing what? Can I try to get rid of one of these fools? Because they're going to be wailing on one me. One of these fools. Love it. Yeah. Quite it, quite which bad. one of these is looking like worse? The one in front of you is bleeding profusely. Okay, I'm going to... Give him a whack with a metal stick. Go for it. Okay, did I get anything? No, but I will, you know, just... Spend one to save one. And gain one, yep. so that's going to hit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And uh, what's their target defense? Seven. Yeah? Yeah. That's toughness. Okay. Three. Three damage. Okay. Uh, he's teetering and swaying, blood coming out of many wounds. <laughs> and you whack him fully on the top of the head, and his skull caves in, and he drops down to the floor dead. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move up against that one and repeat the procedure. <laughs> the doctor is in. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. That's <clears throat> not going to work, and that's me done. Okie doke. Right, so then it's over to me. I'm now down to only four opponents for now. And um, the this guy over here is um, going to run away. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With the guy with arrows, he... In his legs, he sure runs a lot. <laughs> yeah, he waddles away <laughs> <laughs> like a sore cowboy. <laughs> it's like, uh, 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 uh. Uh, and that's the end of his go. Uh, he did that quite urgently. Uh, so, get aid. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's saying. But he's gone to run away. You um, count yourself lucky. So then, back over to our heroes. Mine's mine. My eye. Mind spike. Yeah, um, I'm going to do uh, two things. One uh, is craft a two action mind spike again. Mm -hmm. uh, which takes you down to. Works. 
immortality, and that's an arcane, which is the one success that will do. It'll do. And so it's uh, two action, which we established last time was eight. Yep. Against six. Six. Six plus, wasn't it? Yeah. Just the four. Just the four. Okay. And then, and then that's two actions, and I'm going to put in, going to craft another summon barrier just there. Oh. That's okay. a one action ward. Okay. Well, make your arcane roll to see how long it lasts. Oh, do you know? um, um, um... Is there a gap that <laughs> his fix can shoot through? He can uh... shoot through it. Can he? You can't move through it, so you can't make melee attacks. Yeah, I, can, I, I... don't want to. No. Uh, well, no, it, actually, it says you can't do attacks. Okay. So you can't. Yeah. Okay, well, you know. <clears throat> uh, then I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> well, I will allow his fix know. to make a might check to move to. Climb the wall fix. next to him? Might. No, because they're only a certain height, right? So, Ten foot. Yeah. Uh, why is that not working? Oh, right. You can make a might roll to get yourself to there as I an action. As a, you know, a step with a roll. Yeah. <laughs> or, or there. Or there. In, into combat with Maya. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appear to have a heroic dude that says, take a step into melee. <laughs> <laughs> take a step in and step back out again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You could try to get a runner, you know? Dance. Yeah, I, I might just go around the side and shoot the bloke who's running away. Uh, I don't think it's my go anyway. Well, it's over to you. Oh, no, did you just... Was that Chothog's go? Yes. I'm done, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so it's me, right? Okay, so I've got two guys left to go. And so, can fly. So, he can fly. Bit really mm. on. If it really wants, it might come over and say hello to you in a minute. Um, uh, this guy over here is going to attack Obbol. Here we go. Uh, okay. His thing and make a roll. That's a hit. Huzzah, he doesn't have to use any vitality. And... Okay, well, bully for him. <laughs> Four damage. Oh, good grief. Oh. Uh, he's going to try and attack you again. He said he got that hit I, in and he's thinking a bit. I am out of. Okay, so you're no. weakened. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh -huh. I'm one. You got one. One vitality. Okay. Bugger. He's going to swing at you again. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get three successes. Then he's going to raise mm. his shield. Okay. So, over to you. His fix. Oh, hello. Um, so there's no gap I can shoot between. My only option is to muscle my way through this thick air barrier. You could, you could, might check to there. I know you're still in. I know you're still in melee. I know you're still in melee. I'm just giving you your options. <clears throat> it's like episode one all over again. <laughs> <laughs> now we can just die. Okay. Uh, option one, die. Option two, really tempted to just run around the building. Gotta be honest. Yeah, man. Pick up the other goblin. I might distract the manticore in a different direction. Yeah. Um, oh no. One, two, three, four, five. Because his fix is a nimble, if very spherical gnome. Um, rolling. Rolling yeah. on the floor. It's like that bit in The Hobbit where Bomboff goes into the barrel and then starts like flopping around <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Don't. That's not canon, but it was funny. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, tell me when I can see the other hobgoblin. Oh yeah, sorry. 
Now you've come around the corner, you can see him. <clears throat> Ka twang. Yep. Yeah. And then we're shooting. Okay. As he runs away. The predator's prey never escapes. <laughs> <laughs> we want that skull. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hit <laughs> with one extra so you got strength 8 minus 1 for his leather jerkin so 7 dice against evasion of 6 plus oh, <clears throat> the arrow goes between his shoulder blades protrudes from his chest and he drops into the dirt dead that unlucky fellow mm, I mean he was mate. he was having a nap he got shot Should in both his legs in bed yeah <laughs> it's like this bloody gnome <laughs> <laughs> okay so my last guy who's standing next to Geron he's feeling a bit uh, sheepish He's only got one vitality left because the manticore keeps throwing fucking spikes at him. <laughs> uh, he's going to have a go at you. It's like, somebody, it's like, someone needs to train that thing better. He realises there's not many friends around to hear it. Oh, oh, look at that. One extra. So I'll pump, pump that up. Um, so it would be eight minus three is five and you're nine. Right, so... Two damage, sneaking that damage two? in. Why is, Why it, always is it always two? a two? Uh, right, then he's going to step back because he's out, had enough of getting spines <laughs> and he's going to raise his shield and he's like, sick him, kill him, get get him. To the, He's shouting to the manticore, you realise. And obviously they're keeping it as a, a dangerous pet, which has backfired on them somewhat. <laughs> um Okay, cool. Front fired. So, that is the end of the round. Back round to the heroes. I would Rob, did we roll for I how many rounds your second barrier was going to yeah. persist? I think so. Did you make it? Oh, you did. Two plus Two. one, so three rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, could I try to get rid of one of these? I, I'm okay. only asking because I've only got two vitality left and I kind of need this round to get the extra okay, vitality. So that, that, yeah. That's both of us. Yeah, go yeah. ahead because this is much more dangerous. Uh, I can guarantee, but I can guarantee myself a load of extra vitality. So I'm going to take the last breath for two actions to get myself some immediate vitality and then I'm going to wail on it. That uh, gives I'm you two the... vitality back, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, take a breath. And I oh. hit the manticore in front of me. Just... Just... Just, which gives okay, me another yep. vitality. Yep. So yep. it might mean I, I can hang around for a little bit longer. So you spend that on striker. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to accept my damage rolls as they are. Spend your vitality. Just... Now, do you know what I am? This... Geron wouldn't hold back right at this point. No. So what's his what's his protection strong. again? It's three. Three. So? Yeah. And he's only one. Oh. That 12 is cocked. Come on. Nice <laughs> How can you cock a dice on a computer? So you rolled one. five ones. Five ones. I know. <laughs> My dice rolling has been absolutely atro wow. atrocious tonight. However, I am back up to Vitality 7. So. Oh, no, wait. I spent that one. Set Vitality 6. But that yeah. might see me survive just a little That's bit longer. That's good. Yeah, this is like you're, you're getting a little... You're getting, you know, oh, yeah, I'm doing well. So you start to get feel a bit stronger. Um... So that was your go. Yes. Is it my turn now? Indeed, um, yeah. The creature is going to attack you. I thought he might. It I hits you. It. That was a bad roll. I'll considering take it. its its uh, skills. Uh, and your toughness n nine. Yep. Protection three. Protection three. So yes. One damage. <laughs> I will die, but only in a piecemeal way. <laughs> yeah, very slowly. Um, Chewing on you. Uh, and then it's going to try and attack you again. 
because you now you're right in front of it. It's like. Rah, rah. Oh, oh yes, baby. <laughs> he hits. It hits. Uh, and two points of damage. Evil. There we go. <laughs> All and that then, stuff I just regained. Ugh. For its third action, it is going to do monstrous roar. And as it roars, you sense it has some sort of inner pain, but it seems to gain savageness from it. I'm trying to describe what's happening mechanically, sort of surreptitiously. I feel like if this was a raid, it would be phase three. <laughs> um, yes, there we go. Uh, blood drips from its mouth. But it seems to be stronger. Um, right, so over to the heroes. Um, it, sorry, well, now it seems to be stronger. Isn't this the good time to get it to chew up its friends? <laughs> yep. Oh, that is actually a good idea. I mean, yeah. I, I, anything to, surprise. Anything uh, to get rid of them. Okay, so I'm going to take a tincture for one action, which gives me um, two vitality, and then mm -hmm. I will cast um, the thing, uh, friend to foe. Uh, spend two vitality. Uh, where has it gone? Spend two vitality, make an approach roll. I roll arcane, they roll composure. Composure. Yep. On, on the manticore. Yeah. Let's have a look. Two <coughs> Go with we go. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that oh, yes. you were doing? Friend to foe. Oh, okay, cool. No, so that's <clears> it. Round. I always felt that was wrong round. Okay. Friend to foe to foe. Oh, right, yeah. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. So it changes one of his friends into a foe. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So on his next action, which will be in the next round, he'll have to attack the nearest friend. Uh, right. as, as strongly as he can. Okay. Uh, that's your go done. So yep. now me. So I'm going to take one of these guys. Uh, this guy is going to step in. He's going to attack. Go on. Yes. Huzzah. Two points of, two points of damage. Uh, and roll two points of damage. Here we go. <laughs> one point of damage. Uh, That'll do. And then he's going to step back. <laughs> While you're fighting a manticore, he's just like stepping in and poking, <laughs> you, in the, poking you in the back. <clears throat> That's his go. So back over to the heroes. Go, Oddball. Go. Okay. Go in front of you, Wacky. Yeah. So I'm gonna apply the the blunt instrument to his skull. Face. Mace the mm. face. Okay. Spend, gain, and spend. So still rolling yep. damage. Yep. Mm. Oh, oh, we're not having a great day with these dice, are we? Dude. No, no. That is harsh. Okay, so mm. I'm just going to hunker down. I'm going to drink tincture. Okay. Because that's. And raise my shield. Because this isn't going great. Sure. Okay. Back to three vitality. Right. Uh, and then he, standing in front of you, is going to swing at you. Uh, um, does he have vitality left on which to hit you? Yes, he does. Oh, and I actually do regain. No, sorry, that that was 
is spend, spend on you. Okay. Okay. So you hit you, and that will be. The, the defense is three now. So one day less. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the shield is up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I am out of vitality. Okay. <laughs> so you're weakened or stunned? Yeah, well, which. One effect on Kyle, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, which I, well, I have none, so stunned. <clears throat> okay. And he's going to step away from you. <clears throat> uh, and go through this door. Which I will then remove the little thing. And he goes in there. And you can so kind of see in through the door that he's grabbing up like... Um, uh, a big map and stuff off a table. <clears throat> oh, you bloody... <clears throat> okay. <sighs> so that's his go. Over to the heroes. His fix! Okay. <laughs> well, wait, I can hear... I can hear Geron faintly. His fix, little buddy! Where All are right. you? Uh, his fix will continue his epic run. <laughs> really not his fix, his magic at all. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Um, is nippy. Uh, well, it's one vitality to move to the edge there, and then you could oh, shoot him. Oh, go on. Why? <clears throat> yes, there you yes, go. Yes, tempt me with throwing my health away. Magnificent <laughs> <laughs> oh, dungeon master. What's that? Um, and then, yes, well, the plan was to attempt to distract the manticore. So, uh, the shooting. The shooting. Are you going. Yeah, full on. <clears throat> Okie doke. So, roll away. Back of the head. Observe. Um, you gain. Don't you. I thought you gain a what? die when you use your. Two. Uh, I think that's passive, from what I understood. <clears throat> yes, you get to your your when you roll observe with your when using your thing, you gain a die on observe. Yeah. And your bow is an observe weapon, so you should roll six out dice. Oh. But but I mean you got a good success there. Oh, right? so. <clears throat> okay, so that's one more than needed. So that strength. 7 plus 1 is 8. Protection 3, that's 5 dice. But you used your special yep. targeter, and that drops their evasion by 4. Yep. So it's 5 plus. <clears throat> the evasion is normally 9. Mm, good to know. Um, oy, oy, oy. <laughs> well, he's a flappy, jumpy creature. He's a big, flappy, jumpy creature. 4, oh, four points of damage. That's pretty good. Um, three dots on the back of the head. Yep. And it's um, like, it's kind of arrow hits it in the back. <clears throat> um, I might as well try again. Go for it. Oh, there was some big numbers in there and then they disappeared. Oh. Yeah, no. unfortunately that's a miss. That is indeed a miss. Yep. And that's, that's his fix. Okie doke. Uh, and then I just... Uh, have I gone? Has everyone gone? Yep. Yeah, you killed yeah, you someone, didn't free. you? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. free now. There you go. <clears throat> so, uh, that's the end of the round. Uh, and at the end of the round. Uh, no, sorry. Wrong round. Keep going. Uh, back to the heroes. May I continue my quest to wail on this beast? Yes, please. Okay, well, I'm going to do the same. Because you're done, you're, so you're gonna <laughs> it's, it's more a fact I'm holding it in place at the moment. <laughs> okay. uh, so I'm going to do the same thing again, last breath, and regain some vitality, um, and two actions, and then I shall use my last action to try and hit it. Come on, Axe, now's the time to shine. Yeah! yeah! Nice. 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 I'm, I'm definitely going to gain that vitality, though, however, because I got a bit stripped of it last time. However, I did get two additional dice anyway. 
So here goes. It's all programmed from the last time I rolled. Yes! Four damage. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this creature's taking a beating, but it's a big beast, right? You assume this has got a lot of wounds of vitality, and you would be right. Um, so, yeah, it's as your axe scrapes more fur off of its body. You can see kind of weird points where different body types amalgamate and merge, the dragon and lion fusing along weird lines. It's kind of dis disgust <coughs> disgusting. Uh, and that was all three of my actions at yep. the end of my turn. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna respond in kind. If that's <laughs> Oh no. Friend no, to foe. No. He is going yeah. to use the ability Draconic Pounce. Step fifteen three and make a claw attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it leaps through the building past you, Geron, and you're like, ah, is it like, ah. um, and it lands uh, just behind you and claws viciously oh, at, at this guy. <laughs> just, it's like, who trained this fucking manticore? <laughs> um, and it will attack him and it hits him and he's got toughness seven. And one protection, so he just got to one more than needed. So he's on eight dice. What? Oh my lord! What? That was terrible. <clears throat> okay, and then. The Manticore revolt. What does the <laughs> spell say? Is it just on its turn? It must attack the next person. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's done that. Uh, I'm just going to claw him again. Here we go. Here we go. Not enough. But that is the Manticore's go. <clears throat> I took a big go. Right. Which hero is next? Uh, can I try to get rid of this? Arsehole, finally, please move. I, I don't want to be near the beastie and just whack him on the head again. Okay. No, nothing. Okay, gain and spend. Fine. Two damage. Something. Okay. Blood comes from his head, but unfortunately he still seems to be standing. Okay. And he's like, Since I'm the door. doing that well, I'm just going to try again, because why not? Oh! Two. It, again, spent and gain. Yeah. Three Entry. damage. Okay. He collapses to the floor. Blood pouring out yeah. of his head. Good. Good. <clears throat> Nothing of value was lost. Okay. Uh, my turn. Yeah. Uh, so this guy over here uh, spends a turn. Oh, I should... Uh, sorry, I should uh, roll for the... Stunned. Yep. Yeah. 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 So what do I uh, mind stand is composure or, or observe? Uh, composure. There you go. Yeah. So that's gone. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, you stunned two, so you're now stunned one. Right. Okay. Good. Is that right? No. Sorry. No. That gets rid of it, doesn't it? Right. Uh me this guy here spends an action doing something and then he goes one two three oh uh, attack of opportunity 
Well, yeah, his next action is going to be to run out the door. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to hit him at that time. Okay, so he gets the stick. Then. <laughs> or not. Oh, oh dude. Grief. What's with the rolls? I know. Okay. We've all been dreadful. Apart from his fix. Who has. Okay, and he runs into his fix. Oh, uh, he's actually spending... Wait. It's to there. Okay. <laughs> right. Over to the heroes. Yes, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to shoot the irregular holes. Mm-hmm. Um, Is he carrying anything in his hand? Or beyond his weapon? Room? What, that guy at the top? Mm. He's got like... Uh, his fix you can see he's got like a bundle of papers and a and scroll like map type stuff he looks important i'm gonna let him carry some arrows as well <laughs> yeah here yeah, carry the this arrow for me <laughs> uh three successes nice um so you uh two more needed strength nine one protection eight dice against sixes come on <clears throat> <laughs> okay you he's severely injured and starting to bleed yeah uh you can have another shot at him if you want gonna have another shot be another shooting wow wow I think uh, his fix is taking all the good rolls tonight. Can we have that's some back, please? four <laughs> successes you got there, right. so that's one more than you needed. Okay. Uh, so just uh, one less dice and roll again. Oh, oh there we go. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, I got five, five points of damage. Okay. Uh, he, the, the arrow enters his eye, and uh, he drops to the floor. Signature move. <laughs> How is that for his fix now? <laughs> oh, I'm not keeping count. I just keep the skulls. <laughs> so count the skulls. You got two, I think. Didn't you have any yeah, share for? Two yeah. and, and, and Oddball yeah. picked up two. Yeah. Like well Look at that. High, high mathematics. Is that Geron's not killed anyone yet? Stage. Yeah, and that's because but Geron Geron's did as he was. The I was going to say Geron did as he was told. He was told yeah. to start, ignore the little guys and go fight the big guys. Absolutely. So that's what he's done. Absolutely. <laughs> right. So. It's now any other heroes go. There is one other hero. Uh, so I'm going to take a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have a nap. Uh, well, yeah, I've um, I'll, I'll, well, I suppose I can. Yeah, it's all right. I'll come out from behind the barriers. Uh, that's I. I only have one vitality left, and I have no more offensive scrolls. So, and I know we're not done yet. So, yeah, that, that's me. That's fun. Okay. Moving to close combat in here for a Vitelli. I would have done, but it would cost me a Vitality to get there this get turn. There. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Do you have any tinctures? Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I have four left. Well, you've got two actions. So you could drink two of those. Yeah, all right. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm easily led. Well, yeah. if you want more of a vitality back, then you know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I now okay. have five vitality, and, and that's my turn. Thank Drink. you. So, um, at the end, my last activation, the door opens, oh, and the minotaur comes through, and you can hear someone moving around in the chamber beyond. But your drawers are made already. Gathering things, and you hear a voice say, Fetch the plans. Those plans. Well, bonk. Okay. Okay. And I think we're going to leave the episode there for tonight. (laughs) (laughs) What? Because. You're about to get into a combat with a, the powerful oh, yeah. NPCs, so it might take it might take <laughs> as might take as long as the rest of it. Well, Lost. we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 
Um, unless you guys want to play a bit longer. No, it's fine. That's where you want to leave it. <laughs> we could play another half hour and see if we see if see where we get to. It, it's a good cliffhanger. Yeah, let's um, leave it there. Okay, cool. So the manticore is there looking battered and Geron's like, well, I might finally kill this thing. And then the door opens and another Geron steps out and you're like, oh, and it's like heroic deeds. Yes, to be continued. Uh, so next time, and you never know, Donda might come running in from off screen somewhere and uh, <laughs> yeah, and help out. Use it. Yeah. Fix is going to grab the plans and lick it. Okay. Cool. So. Oh, heroic, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Thank uh, you. Um, storming the keep and taking out most of the bad guys. That manticore is pretty knackered, right? So, yeah, the, the friend to foe was a good idea as well. So that comes in handy, that one, doesn't it? Yeah, more of that. Um, but you've got Karkalan <laughs> and Wormlord Koth to deal with next turn. But there might be a bit of conversation with that one so we might we'll oh. probably leave that one till next time there'll be a bit of you know the bad guy's got a monologue a bit yeah, yeah. so mm, we're gonna, yes. we're gonna, oh, we're gonna yeah. have a bit of that has we recoup at least one vitality while he monologues <laughs> <laughs> not quite half an hour <laughs> oh, come we'll, on, we'll just ask him questions to make it yeah. last half well, well let's yeah, see yeah. what happens right if you can keep him talking you know <laughs> Uh, then maybe we're all standing there drinking potions yeah. in the background while he's. Yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, okay. I'm level two. Him up. You're level two. Yay. 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 Yay! Yay! Level two light bearer. What deed? Let's. What deed did you complete? Curing uh, touch uh, again. The healing hands talent. Okay. May come in handy very soon. Yep. Because you add your level to. Oh. I think yeah, I might be wrong. It's been a while since I wrote all of the rules, and I often <laughs> forget them. So, uh, but don't worry, Kickstarter is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great game. It yeah. is good fun. Thank you. Really Thank good. you. Okay, so we now have a level two light bearer. That's great. Um, his fix. How are we doing? Uh, I got two dots on Rogan training for surviving four battles. Sorry, two battles against multiple enemies, and I now have one dot in sidestep, which is step out of melee reach four times in combat. Okay. Um, uh, disappointingly, didn't get to use my elusive shift against the, I think the first ranged opponent we've had, which is the Manticore. <laughs> but yeah, focusing... sorry about that. No, it's fine. It was focusing on killing hobgoblins, so that's. Fine. Uh, I feel I feel like I kind of funneled you like a scientist with a rat. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worked out. His all... fix is now up the top near the plans. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, with that, that's all perfectly fine. Um, so I don't know. I think his fix needs to get a bit more melee combaty by the looks of it to finish up his deeds. Yeah. See what you want to do, right? Is get the uh, once you have the lightning reflexes talent, you can combine that with elusive shift. So lightning reflexes allowed to use your evasion in against melee attacks, ah. and then your elusive shift boosts it. Yep. And you could take a step out of combat. I mean, you can always go back to riding on Geron's uh, horns to get into combat. You know. <laughs> I think we're we're. Fudging some of the rules there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's fighting for high position. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm sure some that sort of won't incur a penalty to either of you <laughs> as Geron's in battle doing this. <laughs> um, cool. Finally, okay. Finally honed skills. And Geron, did you develop, improve any deeds? I did. I got my first pip in one of my new Oaths mm. I got athlete, and that's my first and uh, successfully do a mic oh, check yes. in an encounter or journey in it. Um, and once I finish it, I'll get plus one might. So I'm I'm hoping I get more opportunities to do that. Nice. But otherwise, mm. nothing else has improved as of yet because I have mostly killy ones, and I did a lot of wounding, but not a lot of killing. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, if if not for that, I'd be toast. There. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not yeah. upset about the fact that I didn't kill things. Um, Geron heroically has done what he's supposed to do: be an oaf sworn and stand in the way of the big things. Mm. That's yeah. his job as an oaf sworn. <laughs> And you um, aided the needy. Mm. Chothog, how's uh, your level two stuff going? Uh, I got one pit in weird 
for making that weird roll mm -hmm. and two level one wards. Uh, oh, okay. Work. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, cool. All right. Oh, and one I actually... Oh, and one sorry, scroll. sorry. Sorry. And one for a scroll. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, it seems I actually did get some uh, second level pips there because uh, how many uh, guys I laid out? One or two? Two. Yes? So that's Battle Priest. Oh, wow. That's a good one. I think you like gain a die in combat if you're near your locus. No, that's increase your prowess rank by one. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, that's good anyway, right? Because that's you're, oh, hitting, yeah. you're hitting people Inch still. Priest. Cool. Okay. Excellent. So our heroes completing their deeds. Wow. See what we did See there? Did there? Uh, um, wow. So thank you very much to my players. Great session. Lots of fun storming the castle. Um, and thank you very much to our viewers. If you are watching this back on YouTube later, please check the links below. There are links to the Kickstarter pre-launch page for Heroic Deeds, which is the expansion of this into the full 300-ish page book from the 50-page book that we already have with the basis for all of the rules. And I'll be adding in the journeys, the down, more on the downtime stuff, and also the kind of exploration rules that will be have so that is all coming and much more some cool art and some even more awesome talents and deeds for all of our heroes to complete so that's good okay right so next week i think we're going to resume normal service on guard black games after our new year christmas kind of break and tuesday we should have coriolis back which will be cool we start the third act of the 12th book of the 50th epoch of the third horizon uh, so third act of the second book uh, will begin next tuesday uh, with millie back at the helm and then on wednesday our marvel squad will return and then obviously we'll be back for part two the second half of the keep and we'll see what happens as wormlord koth has appeared Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, stay safe out there, everyone, and happy gaming. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.